Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Alex here, and I'm here on the uh, regular survival realm that I do. We look outside. Oof, there's the uh, front door. And a little bit of a spoiler about today's episode. Um, so far, we got our little village going on right around here. There's a little mar market district for it that I have to still have to build. Right there is the big, beautiful greenhouse, which has been doing great. The little green blob right there. Above my crosshairs is a tree I have to cut down in the middle. Uh, we have the farms, which I do want to expand that out a little bit more. I'm thinking of making this full spot farming. No clue what I'm doing here. We have our kelp farm, which is fully operational now and doing beautiful. But um, right about here is uh, today's episode. And I'm just going to grab the map and update it. Oof. Big gray spot, and there's a couple little changes. So what is that? Well, let's walk outside and show. You already saw a little bit when I walked out the front door. Kind of forgot that it kind of pops up immediately. I built this beautiful undercroft platform. Sorry, Rob. Um, your house had to disappear, but all your items are right there. We're going to fix that. So under here, I'm thinking of doing a blacksmith uh, mining forge operation, because right there is our mine entrance. So I'm thinking of digging, having like a little store, storing our ores and valuables here. Making a little outcrop here for Rob's house, a little out, little outcrop for, uh, let's see, um, just blacksmith making armor and weapons and stuff. And that leaves us our platform up top, which I decorated a little bit. Has a nice little balcony. I kind of got tired of walking off and breaking shins. And one thing I did want to mention is I've harvested this farm about three, four, maybe five times, and it, production is beautiful. And one more thing I did do on the kelp farm, while I'm thinking of it, is um, I just went and decorated it. I did some trapdoors along it, just to add a little bit more color. It's made out of the acacia. Uh, but here, we have this big, beautiful building right by our front gate, which is right there. And, well, I can't say building. There's no big, beautiful building yet. Uh, we have this workable area. Everything's nice and matched. Um, it's exactly mirrored down the center here, so we have this line. And then what's over here is over here. It's exactly the same and what I'm thinking of is making maybe doing like a stables having these four spots here be like a little stable area the rest of it I'll turn into a building we can have some big beautiful windows overlooking all of this uh, I kind of have this little breaking my shins that little ledge there to kind of be the base of it like okay that's where the buildings attached to the foundation here and we'll go up with some cobblestone and maybe then some uh, white concrete just to give it that classic medieval look. and But while I'm down here, I want to just go over this, uh, the whole base, pr base structure. Um, what it is, is just some uh, anisite, polished anisite for the little beams in the section. I use that to section off everything. Kind of copied it upstairs, reverse with the stone brick, and then uh, polished anisite half slabs. And going on to the solid ground, it goes uh, over there is the full blocks, but under here, half slabs, just to give that little roof feeling. Uh, some archways, which in some spot it's solid blocks, mixture of stairs. And then I just did some trap doors just to kind of make, make it look like there's some little bit more support and stuff. And lanterns here and there. There was one there. I do have to replace that. Some fencing just to kind of close everything in. Um, I used the walls to kind of shrink the pillars in the center there. Just a little decoration. And then some dark oak trap doors on the side here to match the dark oak up there. And that's just... Pretty much to cover up the blocks and just give a little bit more varying shape, color, add a little bit of color. And that is pretty much it. At nighttime, this whole area is under here is lit up beautiful. And I just connected the path here. So it kind of looks like one solid piece. Um, the, pretty much that horse is the reason why I'm thinking of the stables. Maybe putting a llama. Pretty sure he lost his uh, dude because that's why I have a lead in there. I do. I think I do want to put like a little door or gate on the greenhouse because animals have gotten in there, trampled a couple crops. And up here, I just connected the building to the uh, pathway. I might move the pathway over a little bit more depending on the today's build. But from this, I'm thinking from uh, having a little bit of like a little un little awning, open area for stables here, and then these blocks will go. These little squares over will be the rest of the building. Have a first floor, definitely a second floor. 
because I think it would be cool as soon as you walk in through the front gate, you get, you're greeted by this wall of a building. And I'm debating if I do, since it, we're only a couple blocks, if I want to bring it over a little bit or make a little connection just to connect to that tower. I might for the top there, or I might just cut it off, have the building stop right before the tower comes out and connect into there via the second floor. But I think it would definitely be a nice little entryway into the town. Having a big building there kind of be like a little defensive wall, if you'll think of it, to funnel everybody through this area into the town itself with our magical one acacia tree that I forgot to cut down. And one more thing, it's been, I've been on and off this, this server, I just want to see. And kelp production is going beautiful. Every day the farm goes off, kind of collects everything. And one thing that is a little, is a little bit annoying about that is the uh, daylight sensors. They forgot it says the dit night comes on that they power up so slowly it closes. So I do want to, I do think I want to figure out a way around that. I might just um, run out a repeater from there. So any signal, boof, max powered. Or uh, just having, actually doing an observer block right under there. Whenever the sensor changes, it's just going to fire the system. But today we're going to get in this build, so first things first, cobblestone, like any medieval build, I'm going to go three high, so we're going to come back here, because that's where this is where I know the building is going to be. So one, two, three, I'm going to do four for good luck, and I want to come out around here, and this entire wall I want to border. So we're going to come out here and stop at this line, and then we'll come back in here. Go over to this corner. There goes one stack. This is definitely going to be a resource-heavy build, but I'm excited. So let's jump up here to our magical block. So you can kind of see the outlay of everything. I'm thinking you walk in here and boom, it's going to be like an inn, maybe make this our market, or a nice little shopping area. In there we'll have like, a, I'm thinking maybe put the staircase in there to go up. We can have a big beautiful window for that or make that like a little storage area. I haven't figured it out yet. I just want to get the basic part of the building done. So I want to cut away for a few minutes, go around and get this, get this floor and the everything else planned out. And I will see you then. Okay, and we are back. I just uh, went through the last of it. Oops, some seeds. That's right. I had some grass planted. Uh, not anymore. And... Honestly, I went through a lot less concrete than I thought. Literally, out of nine stacks, I only went through four and a half stacks, so that's good. I, I could add a whole bunch more floors, so big reveal. We have the base building yourself, and yeah, it's kind of boring. It's just a square, but it's the details and stuff we're going to add on the outside that are going to bring this to life. So here, I'm definitely thinking adding the stable area. I might dig this uh, dirt back, change the pathway up a little bit. might narrow it. thinking maybe three wide, and we'll dig the burnt back a little bit make like maybe a little nice retaining cobblestone wall for here open up this entire area might even add more stables down the line but for now we got the base part and that is good with me uh one thing i do want to do before i forget i need one dark oak block and we're just gonna jump up on the wall here and i can make a corner do it again yep and let's fill that in. So that's filled in. The corners are empty, but I wanted these corners to be empty. It adds a nice little detail, in my opinion. And break our shins. And as you can see, just that little bit of decoration there kind of melds into the building, makes it look like it's one solid piece, even though really it's two parts. You got the building and then the, uh, the uh, I don't know, the stilts it's on. I think that's the best way to put that. And coming in, you can see there's not much excitement, but there's a lot of potential. And you can see why I was thinking, okay, do this as a staircase. We can walk up this half, turns around, and boof, we're on the second floor. So, or we can make like a little storage room. We'll have a front counter here. Oh, yeah, you, you want some bread? Let me go in here and grab the bread. But for now, I want to, let's get this, get the outside part decorated. Uh, what I want to do is I just want to get the awning here for the stables themselves, kind of line all that out. And for that, I'm thinking, um, as much as I want to go back to our, to what we're doing with the rest of the build, having the stripped logs, I'm thinking just some regular non-stripped spruce logs with a little bit of dark oak mixed in will do nicely. 
So right here we have our doorway. So let's mark that out. And um, you know what? If we pop that there, yeah, we got two, three, two, three. I think that'll work nicely. And over here we have a little three and three. So no, you, you got to stand up, Trey. I'm sorry. I know it's hard being a log. And we'll go up here. And make the jump. Yes, we can. And hello, Llama. We're going to make a section for you. Don't worry. So I'm thinking here we'll have our front gate into the stables. We'll have stable one and stable two. Kind of have it just connected. Actually, I could just make... Stay, cut this off and stay, make this another little mini stable. Many things to do, but let's, uh, let's line up and figure everything out. You know, I think I just want, I want to close that off. We'll make this the little entryway, have our little stable area here, and down the line, I, I like the expanding with the wall idea I just came up with. That might be a good one. So I'm going to just do this up. And due to uh, head injuries and writing, and for some reason I have the nasty, nasty habit of making my stables one block too short. Actually, um, I did dark oak down. I did dark oak down there for the fencing. So up here we'll do spruce. That might be a nice little change in color. So we'll do that. Actually, I do have an idea for up here. So let's go get those fences before I forget they exist. I'll connect you over. So just from there, that adds a nice, that adds a little bit more shape to it. And dark oak is going to be my roof color. Let's grab all that stuff. For this one, um... I want the dark oak to come down the log a little bit. And that does line up perfectly. We can wrap that around the rest of the building. I am going to need my handy dandy scaffolding in the wrong spot. Bring that over, do a nice little wrap. This is the easy part of the roof, because I got a block I can just look at and walk. And I think I'm just going to do that, make it too wide. So we're going to do this, come in, come in two. And sleep the night away, craft some more stuff. You know, that while you're sleeping, waiting for everybody else, you can do some quick crafting. That might be fun. Because don't you hate it when you just when you wake up after a long day's nap and go, "Oh, I was sleep building again." Let's get a quick little crafting table in here. One thing that I always forget to carry on me, crafting table. So. Plenty of half slabs. For, I'm not too worried about crafting one too many. I'm going to be going through them definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's fix our little scaffolding snafu. Boop, all fixed. Oopsies, uh, that's bad. That's an oopsie on my part. That part's going to come down and over. Because that's how our little awning's going for the time being. Again, if I do it, if I do the addition, I'm just going to drag this down. And one little detail that I think will be nice is just doing... 
What I was go I, I was falling off and breaking my shins. I was gonna say putting those corners in, notching those corners in, but due to this magical thing called a log, I can't do that actually. So we're gonna have to leave it like this. But it still looks nice. We got a nice little awning overhang area, kind of keep our horses out of the wet. And maybe come back, decorate, add maybe uh, along this wall some hay blocks. Uh, so when we come in here, we have this nice little area. Thinking maybe some more trapdoors. I, I do. I will admit I've been going trapdoor heavy with the addition of just those a while ago, actually. But for now, I think it's a nice touch. Let's pop some lanterns in here. Maybe not there. Let's go in the chest, actually. Uh, right here we got our spruce, so... Uh, actually, no, I kind of like this idea. We'll just place it on top of the fence post there. That light gives us some light. And we walk in here. Then we'll do that. One thing I am not happy about is seeing all of this, uh, that open wood. And as much as it would make me, I would love to uh, just pop in more half slabs. I don't think that'll work nicely. So I think I'm just going to do that. We'll still give us the... Give us the uh, open feel that we're going for with the roof. Yeah, that looks nice. Still gives us a nice little open feel. That little bit of layer going on. important to go around and collect all your blocks assuming we go up the scaffolding there we go so there we go for now I can clean all of that up so we got a nice little overhang I'm definitely happy that with that I'm gonna leave that that part open for now because I don't know how we want our horses to come in maybe a double piston extender to kind of make the gate would be cool or just trap door the entire thing but speaking of trapdoors, one right there might be cool, so you can just walk right in. So that's definitely nice. Um, the next thing I do want to do is let's get that out. Let's go just for a full stack of everything. Let's grab that. We need a bucket of water later. Right here, I knew I put some trap, some scaffolding. Um, next part is the fun part, called where and how are we going to fit a roof in? I'm thinking having uh, one big A-frame down the center there, and we can pop off with little out little gables, I believe is the technical word there. But then that brings us to uh, this uh, little bit of challenge. How do I fit this in? Oh. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to pop away for a minute. I will be back when I actually figure this one out, because I'm staring at my ceiling with no idea how I want to fit this into a roof. Okay, and I'm back, and I think I came up with a uh, nice solution to our little dilemma here. Um, first off, the uh, roof, main roof itself is going to line up around there. Actually, whoopsies, wrong spot. Uh, right there, so that right there is a half slab. So you can see our typical A-frame going on. So that means it's going to come out and meet us right here. So corner of the roof, it's going to continue here. So my plan is to come down a couple blocks and just make this section a little shorter 
if not downright get rid of the entire section and we'll just have a cobblestone wall there if need be that's there and I missed some water spots but there we go thank you water bucket Oop. okay that's fixed so what I want so our wall is gonna come there reach that corner yes I can yeah, with the way I want the roof to go, I'm just going to make get rid of this section all together. So this spot's going to be one floor. That way we have the roof a little bit lower, and it's going to add a little bit more shape to the overall build. One thing that's popping into my head right now is maybe, maybe it would might look nice if I made this out of a different material altogether. Make it look like a wooden add-on, but... It wouldn't really be much of an add-on if we had that complex base already added. So it wouldn't make 100% sense in, with that. Just going around, collecting the blocks. Survival, after all. I, I spent a while collecting gravel and sand. One more thing. Let's, let's add a little pathway up to the roof out here. Really? I am a half a heart away from being close to dead. So we can do that. And the roof is going to continue there. So how do I want this to go? thinking just doing a half slab roof over here will be good enough. I want a little bit more height, so we'll have the half slabs there and we'll treat the rest of this like a typical do your A-frame but we'll completely wrap it around. So do I have any dirt blocks? Uh, no, so Next closest thing I got to dirt is cobblestone. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I have a better idea for you. We're going to do... Um, I remember doing a video a while back about roofs, and I nicknamed this one the modified A-frame where I combine two different types of roofs into one. I think that might work well here. So it's going to take a little bit of staging. I'll have to clear that out so I can walk. But the overall idea, which in reality wise, this roof isn't going to make any sense because the whole point of the roof is any snow or water that builds up, you kind of want to run that off. And here that's definitely not going to happen. That there, place that cobblestone block right there. That'll give me a spot to plant this half slab. And I can just drag this over. Clear that out. And for now, I'm going to leave it open. I might put some glass. I'm definitely going to do some decorating on the roof itself, so I'm going to save that until the end. This build might this build might be a two parter. Make sure I got all the blocks. Head on in. So let's take let's do one thing that's always recommended and good for any type of build. Just step back, take a look. How does it look? Looks good from that angle. Looking good from that angle. I'm actually thinking, you know, making that out of oak might be be nice so I'm gonna I'm honestly gonna go cut down that mine all that and place some oak so I'll see you in a second just to add a little bit more color okay and we got the roof in well sort of I'm saving the last little bit to, to do on camera but 
Uh, one thing I did do off camera is I just put that one little wrap around there. That's going to give us some space to, but one, it's going to separate the uh, concrete and the cobblestone. Separates that a little bit and gives us a little bit more room to decorate with when we do the pillars and finishing touches on the outside. I think I'm going to make this one a two-part because we got the main build itself and then we'll do the decorative uh, bits. One thing I do don't want, I do definitely want to figure out off camera is how I want to do the, uh, not sure what they're called. I'm going to say gables for now, but I know that might be wrong. I'll do those off camera. Uh, one thing I did decide is I am going to connect this to the building itself, but for now, I'm just going to do that and uh, that to kind of just close off that section. Upside down. And I do actually wait. I'm doing this all wrong. Um, did I get that? No, I did not. I definitely have it now. So, one thing that I would like to do is, I remember saying it way back, it's kind of my uh, modified bit, so I'm going to come in five blocks from each end. Three, four, five... I'm just going to place that as a temporary placeholder. One, two, three, four, five. Again, temporary. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, it's a. Uh, that should. That's the center of the building right there. Huh. Okay, how do I want to do this? Um, let's go two that way. Actually, no, let's do one in each direction. Because one thing you've definitely you'll definitely notice if you ever look up uh, older buildings is the roof as it, it settles it sacks a little bit so I want to imitate that a little bit because this is an older building so I want that there can't build any more in that direction physically impossible there's a giant tower that I am not getting rid of anytime soon because um, I don't think the king of this area aka me wants it gone because I don't. That tower, that that actually was the first little tower to be built for the wall, so. It's a historical tower, all important and stuff. I hope I don't fall. I fell. Okay, so we'll come back up. And this is a large building, so depending on the size is how you, I, I nickname them Viking Horns, is how you want to do them. So we're going to do that, come out, and since this is a big build, I want a big Viking horn thing. Viking horn found a medieval building, only in Minecraft, but actually I don't know what they're called, they just, they, they look nice, it's a nice little decorative piece to give the room, a, the roof a little pizzazz, as you can see I don't have it on any of the other roofs, well that one's a giant wizard cone, but it just gives that a little bit of shape, and if you want to add some more feature, detail to the roof, Make that out of a different wood. Do spruce, do stone, do cobblestone. Something different. And then you can go down the edges with it and over every so often if you wanted to. But for now, that'll do. And that gives a nice little shape to the roof. You can kind of see it looks settled. Gives curve. If you really want to go one step further, add a little bit of uh, half slabs in there to just make the roof look a little beaten up. But this is still a relatively, air quotes, new build. And air quotes. So for now, I'm going to call the video at an end here. I just want to get the main building done. Next week, I'll wrap it up with all the decorations and stuff. Um, I think I'm going to, what I'm going to do off camera is get this half done. Or maybe do the other half, because that's going to be a lot of great. And I'm going to do this half, because the only thing really decorative over here is the uh, future stables. Nice little spot to hold a couple horses. There's plenty of fences to attach them to. And then I will decorate this half, which is super huge. So we got that little area to decorate. And then we got the main building itself to do. And I definitely think just because it's close enough to that tower would be awesome to uh, just connect it there. I'm not saying build the building out a little bit more, but like a little arch bridge off of that uh, section into the tower. Definitely would add, add a little bit of spunk. So I might go up the tower, make another floor in that area. Or actually grab it off the uh, other end of the wall that comes in go off and see where that lines up so I'll figure that out off camera next episode we're decorating this half um, 
not much of this. Uh, this side's going to be window heavy, the other side a couple windows, and definitely that end of it. Right here, not so much for obvious reasons. Oh, because you just love walking out in the morning. Oh, let's see what's outside. Ah, a wall. I don't know what the weather is, because there's a wall. Okay, so we'll figure that out. And as the llamas patrol the tower, apparently llamas spawn in there. Unless he went in through this hole, managed to make it up a spiral staircase, there might be a traitor with him. No, that is a wild llama. That is, I think, yeah, that is the wild llama that's been through trolling. Um, he has yet to despawn, so that floor there might line up, actually. Bullet. Yeah, it should line up. So that floor it might be our entrance in. We'll find out next episode. And one thing, because... Uh, I never really showed it in video since of the comparators and stuff. Push the button, everything times out perfectly except for that one little spot. No, no it didn't happen this time. The last couple times, that one perfect spot where items will get trapped right here. Just it's happened like twice. So it does affect the rates, but not too much. But all those beautiful hoppers are funneling into here. So as you can see that's collecting and are we gonna get any more wheat? Uh for now. For now, we got plenty of seeds. Yeah. So that's going to be it. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely check out next episode where we add a little bit more detail to that build. And essentially, I want to. We're going to turn this whole area inside into a nice kingdom. Hopefully, before the nether update. Because I really, really would love to get this finished. And as you can see, I'm just thinking an observer, comparator will do. And one more thing about this um, I don't know why that happens, but it happens. I don't know what causes it. I'm thinking I put the trapdoors because maybe it's just shooting out through the hopper, which I don't think that's the case. I'm thinking when it comes up and up out of the water and shoots that forward or something, it gets glitched through those uh, that little corner there. So I might extend the stone a little bit, but I'll figure that all out off camera. This is Sergeant Alex. I hope you have a nice day. Comment down below if you have any recommendations and stuff, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.